For years, Nikon users have been anticipating a camera that could truly replace the legendary D500. The D500 was more than just a DSLR, it was a benchmark in professional APS-C photography. It combined rugged durability, lightning-fast performance, and a price point that was far below full-frame flagships, making it a favorite among wildlife, sports, and action photographers. Its reliability and extreme conditions earned it a loyal following, and its capabilities made it one of Nikon's most beloved cameras in recent memory. Yet, when Nikon discontinued the D500, a significant void was left in its lineup. In the years following, Nikon's DX mirrorless options, including the Z50 and ZFC, have been enjoyable cameras for enthusiasts and casual users, but they have not provided the professional-grade performance expected of a D500 successor. They lack the speed, advanced autofocus, and robustness required in demanding shooting environments. For professionals who rely on precision, durability, and consistent performance, the absence of a true DX flagship has been noticeable. This is where the excitement around the rumored Nikon Z90 comes in. Early leaks suggest that Nikon is preparing a camera designed to capture the spirit of the D500 while leveraging modern mirrorless technologies, offering a true professional APS-C solution. The Nikon Z90 is rumored to feature a 33-megapixel APS-C sensor, the highest resolution yet seen in Nikon's DX line. This would allow photographers to crop aggressively without losing detail, an essential feature for wildlife photography where subjects are often distant. Combined with a potential BSI or stack sensor design, the Z90 could offer improved dynamic range, faster readout, and reduced rolling shutter, bringing Nikon's APS-C technology closer to modern mirrorless standards. For photographers, this would mean more flexibility, superior image quality, and the ability to handle challenging light situations. Speed has always been a hallmark of the D500, and the Z90 appears poised to continue this tradition. Reports suggest that the camera could achieve 15 to 20 frames per second in continuous shooting, potentially more with electronic shutter modes. A large buffer capable of storing hundreds of RAW files would allow photographers to shoot extended bursts without slowing down, an essential requirement for sports and wildlife photography. In action-driven scenarios, every millisecond counts, and the Z90's rumored burst performance could ensure critical moments are captured with precision. Video capabilities are also expected to be a strong point. The Z90 may offer oversampled 4K recording at 60 frames per second, delivering crisp, high-quality video. Higher frame rate options, possibly 120fps or 180fps, could enable smooth slow-motion capture, making the Z90 a versatile hybrid tool for creators who need both professional quality stills and video. For multimedia photographers who balance high-speed photography with videography, this could make the Z90 one of the most capable APS-C mirrorless cameras on the market. Another rumored improvement that has photographers excited is the addition of in-body image stabilization, a first for Nikon's DX mirrorless cameras. IBIS would allow every lens, old or new, stabilized or non-stabilized, to benefit from reduced camera shake. For wildlife and sports photographers shooting in low light, or videographers working handheld, this could be a game-changer. IBIS paired with Nikon's high-speed sensor would make handheld shooting more reliable, reducing the need for tripods or other stabilizing gear in the field. On paper, the rumored features make the Z90 an extremely compelling proposition. High-resolution APS-C sensor, rapid burst rates, IBIS, and professional video capabilities suggest a camera designed to compete with Canon's EOS R7 and Fujifilm's X, H, 2S. Canon's R7 delivers blackout-free continuous shooting and AI-powered autofocus, while the X, H, 2S features a stacked sensor with near-instant readout. Nikon has been absent from this competitive space for years, and the Z90 could finally give DX photographers a modern, professional option that bridges the gap between portability and performance. However, Nikon faces a strategic balancing act. Its full-frame Z8 and Z9 cameras have solidified Nikon's place in the professional market, offering speed, autofocus, and video performance at the highest levels. Introducing a DX flagship with comparable capabilities risks cannibalizing full-frame sales. A professional photographer may question why they should invest in a Z8 when a smaller, more affordable Z90 can deliver similar high-speed performance with the added benefit of reach from the APS-C crop factor. Conversely, if Nikon limits the Z90 too much to protect full-frame models, the camera risks being underwhelming in comparison to Canon and Fujifilm's offerings. The company must carefully calibrate the Z90's capabilities to satisfy professionals without undermining its higher-end offerings. Another key factor will be lens support. 
Nikon's DX lens ecosystem is limited compared to its full-frame Z-mount glass. Many DX lenses are slower, variable aperture zooms intended for beginners, with very few professional-grade telephotos or fast primes. For a camera like the Z90, optimized for wildlife and sports, this could be a challenge. Photographers may have to rely on heavy full-frame FX lenses, which undermines the portability and ergonomic advantages of a smaller DX body. By contrast, Fujifilm has a rich APS-C lens lineup designed for professional use, and Canon can adapt full-frame RF lenses effectively. Nikon's lack of dedicated DX glass could limit the Z90's appeal unless the company expands its lens options alongside the camera's release. Pricing will also be critical. Rumors place the Z90's body between $1,500 and $2,000, positioning it as a high-end enthusiast or semi-pro option. This price range makes it accessible relative to full-frame flagship models while still offering professional performance. For wildlife and sports photographers, the APS-C crop factor provides a practical advantage, allowing a 400mm lens to act like a 600mm equivalent, extending reach without extra cost. This feature, combined with high-speed performance in IBIS, could make the Z90 an attractive alternative to full-frame systems for demanding shooters who need portability and affordability. Timing remains another potential hurdle. With the D500 discontinued in 2022, Nikon has left the professional APS-C market open for competitors. Canon and Fujifilm have filled this gap with strong modern options, attracting users who might otherwise have stayed loyal to Nikon. Any delay in the Z90's release could risk losing a generation of photographers who prioritize high-speed, high-resolution APS-C cameras. Prompt action from Nikon is essential to regain relevance in this market segment. Despite these challenges, there is a sense of optimism in the Nikon community. If the Z90 delivers on its rumored specifications, it could successfully combine the legacy of the D500 with modern mirrorless technology. Its high-resolution sensor, rapid continuous shooting, IBIS, and professional video capabilities would position it as a serious contender for wildlife, sports, and action photographers. With careful attention to lens support and pricing, the Z90 could revitalize Nikon's APS-C lineup, giving professionals a reason to stay loyal to the brand. Ultimately, the Nikon Z90 represents more than a new camera. It symbolizes hope for photographers who have waited years for a modern successor to the D500. By blending speed, resolution, durability, and hybrid capabilities, the Z90 could restore Nikon's reputation in the professional APS-C market. However, Nikon must navigate strategic challenges, including balancing performance with full-frame sales, expanding the DX lens ecosystem, and launching swiftly to avoid ceding the market to competitors. If executed well, the Z90 could mark the return of a true DX flagship and ensure that the legacy of the D500 continues in the mirrorless era. For enthusiasts and professionals alike, the Nikon Z90 is shaping up to be a critical release. It could restore the balance of Nikon's lineup, deliver the features long requested by DX shooters, and prove that Nikon remains a leader in professional photography. The D500 set the standard, the Z90 could define the next generation of APS-C excellence. With its rumored combination of high resolution, fast performance, video capabilities, and in-body stabilization, Nikon may finally have the tool to reclaim its place at the top of the APS-C mirrorless hierarchy. Timing and execution will be crucial, but the potential is undeniable, the Z90 could be the camera that fills the professional APS-C void once and for all.